Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to Canada apparently and GeoGuessr, not Canada. Oops. Uh, we are doing Improved World today. It's a map by Wolf Trekker. I don't know if we've really played it that much on this channel. Although this has kind of been the new map that everyone's playing for streaks and challenges. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna take our hand and get to Gen Four and know that we're in Norway. We're gonna I don't even know at this point. Try to figure out everything we can. Uh, we're not playing a, a fucking pro league, so hopefully we can uh, find some clues and information. But I think we're gonna get stuck inside of this residential area. I hate being stuck in residential areas. It only ever happens in the United States or Australia. And sometimes we're stuck in Canada. But Norway is going to give us some trouble? Oh, uh, we have trees. We have plenty of them. Uh, that generally puts us towards the south. So we could probably guess over by Oslo. Unless we could find something different. Ah, uh, that's probably best guess. Can we find the middle of the town? I hope so. I do don't want to go this way, but we have to. The only reason I don't want to go this way is because it feels like we're going right back to that residential area we just fucking left. No, okay. Yeah, oh, fuck, we got teleported. We're fine. We're fine. If we can find the town center, there's a chance it points us to a major road, which looks like that's what we're doing. Uh, and then we might be able to find out where the fuck we are. We have a sign right here that we kind of want to see. We have... Besides Swedish roads, um, Brenviken, Kronen, Svartstolstaden, and Svarten. So this is a Swedish road, so it's not going to be Norway. Uh, Uribro, maybe Borralage. Uh, we have a lake. I wish that had a road number on it. It doesn't. So we kind of have to uh, accept our fate. Finding the major road definitely helps. Definitely helps. We have Svartostaden again and Skorholmen. Don't know where any of that is, but I still feel like we're kind of down here. No road signs, no road numbers, no distances to major cities. That, Lovskar is probably the biggest one we're gonna find and we have five seconds we did good guys we did good uh we're just gonna keep it where it is there's no point moving it ends up being way further north calamity going with uh island but it ends up being luia luio wow we uh yeah we fucked up that travel Oops. Uh, down by 400. We'll call it four. Really? Fuck. This is good for no car, no compass. All right? If we're doing no car, no compass, which this map is designed for, Wolf Checker added a bunch of locations specifically for no car, no compass meta. Uh, but we have the, the white truck who, let's just point out, uh, sucks at driving. Like, dude, do you not know what side of the road you're supposed to be driving on? We're on the left, and then we're on the right, and then we're just chilling in the middle? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, definitely on the left-hand side. Definitely have the white truck. Now, the white truck we have found on uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands. I believe it's either Guam and the North Marinara Sauce, or... Yeah, that's a U.S. sign. So, or Christmas Island. And the left hand, I think Christmas Island might be a red car. For some reason, I want to say Christmas Island's red car. So this should be U.S. Virgin. Uh, and it's either North Island or South Island, and I think it's North Island. I just don't know if it's the one we have. But this guy's driving all over the fucking road. Imagine seeing a big white fucking truck coming at you on the wrong side of the road. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, 
maybe it's because I'm from New York, right? But a lot of times, people drive like fucking morons. And there's only so much you could say to kind of get that point across of that, like... Like, you're in the car, you're in the moment, and somebody's on the wrong side of the road. You kind of just look at them, hand motion, you're like, uh... Are you fucking stupid? You know, like... And that can generally be said for whoever is driving this fucking car. Because they are all over the fucking road. Paradise Lumber, follow us on Twitter. Uh... Really? A lumber store? A lumber store is asking for a follow on Twitter? I don't even ask for follows on Twitter. Myra Keating Smith Community Health Center, a division of the Schneider Regional Medical Center. Uh, we haven't found anything that literally says U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, so it comes down to the car meta. Uh, definitely United States territory. Right? Like, we, we kind of know that. But that's kind of it. I guess we could try to find 10. Highway 10, we're actually on it. So, hope for fucking luck and hope that we have a good guess. Oh, God. And now we get some lag. Yeah, the, this guy. Uh, don't get in the car with somebody who drives like this. Uh, and we end up being a kilometer off. We went past the, the Kathenburg Estate Ruins. And we already we made it all the way down to Paradise Lumber and Harbor. Amazing. Wow, well, Calamity does get the perfect score. We didn't actually have a bad guess at all. At all. Yellow divider line feels like we're on the right hand side. Sun's just kind of chilling there. It should be South America, although Mexico is possible. Uh based on the road markings, it can't be South uh South Africa, so well, the Southern African area, so no South Africa, Botswana, Eswatini, Lesotho. Those are out of the question. It could be Australia. No, it can't be Australia because we're on the right-hand side of the road, so there goes Australia New Zealand. So if it is going to be Southern Hemisphere, it has to be South America. So we are Western here. Almost positive. Uh, pretty dry, pretty open. We do have a little bit of the car. And it is the white car. Red license plate. It's not Bhutan. Conquista Transportes. That's Spanish as far as I could tell. Uh, so Mexico, it's not Guatemala because of the roof rack. It's not the Dominican Republic because of the roof rack. So Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay. Although, probably not Uruguay. It's a little too hilly. Uh, we don't really have a clear view of the back of the car. Uh, so it's not going to be Argentina or Uruguay because they both use you know, the car meta. So, Peru's out of the, not Peru, Chile's out of the question, because yellow divider line. So we really have Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia. If we can go and find some yellow license plates on, like, actual vehicles, uh, we can go with, with Colombia. Mexico's still a possibility, especially with that sun. Uh, the houses and everything, I guess, feel more Mexican than anything else. Uh, the language is obviously going to be Spanish. Uh, but we really haven't found anything. We have a lot of trucks moving. And those trucks do have a yellow thing on the front, so I wonder if that's not... Fuck. That might not be Spanish. That might be Portuguese. Which would put this in Brazil. And if this is Brazil, we're kind of fucked. Although we haven't seen any, any road markings on the side of the road. Pointing us to BR, you know, 368 or whatever the fuck the number would be. So that's kind of interesting. We also don't have a clear shot of the sun. Postal Bom Jesus. Probably not Mexico. If I had to guess, I'd say a weird Peru or Brazil. Brazil. Ah. Uh, if it's gonna be Brazil, it's gotta be middle. It's not near the coast. Here's a sign. Vosto Bod Jesus. It's Brazil. Uh, we, we did get Brazil guess in, but we kind of didn't get the right spot. Uh, it doesn't have been closer to a coast than I probably would have guessed. 
my original thought was going to be over by Brasilia. Uh, which, if we would have been able to guess Brasilia, would have been a better guess. But Calamity does get it. Uh, so we're looking at Calamity to win. Uh, same general feel. I'm definitely seeing the South America vibes. This guy's taking a picture of us. He's fucking weird, man. It's a kid walking home from school. Hey, guys, guess what I saw? Uh, white license plates. Sun's definitely to the south this time, so we're probably looking at Mexico. That literally says Mexico on it. I can't see what that bottom one says. K-A-J? Something? Uh, but we know we're in Mexico. Is there something that starts with the K-A-J? Not that I can see. So maybe it's not a K. It does look like it is a rather large name. Like, at least 10 letters. And it looks like it ends in PAS, P-A-S. So maybe Tamaulipas? Maybe? I'm not familiar with Mexican license plates. I'm, I'm throwing that out there. If this was the United States, I'd have a better idea. But uh, we definitely know we're in Mexico, based on the, the license plate that's in Mexico. Can we find a major road? Maybe, maybe we can. Uh, definitely a two-lane road, right-hand side. I mean, we already know we're in Mexico. Like, that's that's pretty clear. Can we find something that points to Mexico City? We do have a bus that we kind of just blew right by. Something, Enix, X, e, e, something? Fuck. And then 135, no distinguishing factors on the bus. Mercedes-Benz, and then we have half of a town name. Fuck. Cementos Moctezuma. Telephone, not gonna help us. We gotta learn Mexican area codes. Oxo, probably not gonna help us. Uh, chorizo, which is sausage. So, probably a butcher. Tacos, veterinary. Yeah, we're not gonna find anything. Uh, it's it's a nice town. Don't get me wrong. Uh, that actually might be where we want to go. Straight. Another bus. We do have mountains in the distance. Could we be the urban service? So we're going through towns. Could we be near Mexico City? Or Ciudad de Victorio? Uh, Santo Remedio, yeah, we're fucked. All right, hope for fucking luck. Hope we have a good guess. We didn't find anything. That seems to be uh, Ravales. It seems to be the theme of the day. We're not finding shit. We barely found language last round. We got lucky and found something that's in Mexico, but Mexico's not exactly small. <laughs> and actually, not a bad guess. Longitude guesser. The Ciudad Valleys. Calamity's going to win this. Uh, we need a perfect score here. And we need Calamity to royally fuck it up. Yellow license plate. Gen 4 coverage. Can't tell if we're on the left or the right, but I have a feeling we're on the left, and I have a feeling it's either Australia or New Zealand. New Zealand being the more likely option. It's going to be New Zealand. It's going to be South Island. We're definitely on the left-hand side because this car's coming at us. But yellow license plates are New South Wales. So, is it safe to guess New South Wales based off of yellow license plates? Or do we go with our gut and go with New Zealand because of the Gen 4 coverage? I don't think Gen 4 is enough for us to safely say it's got to be one or the other. I think the New South Wales might be the play. Uh, we do have Pitt Town Access, Oakville, and Maria La Yella. We're fucked. We're fucked. We're really, really fucked. No, we're gonna we're gonna do fine. We're gonna do fine. We've been right about every country so far. It's just sometimes it takes us two minutes and fifty eight seconds. Other times we kind of find a license plate that says Mexico. Uh, we actually have bollards that we're passing and kind of ignoring, um, which we really shouldn't. Although I don't actually know. Australian's bollards. And I'm pretty sure that's 
the New Zealand stick. Although that's a reflector at the end of somebody's driveway. So that's not actually a bollard. That might be. Yeah, that's a New Zealand bollard. So we're in New Zealand. We have to be. Unless I don't know my fucking bollards anymore. Uh, build a home together. Box Hill. Community. And we're in AU. Great. Awesome. Those are Australian bollards, guys. Learning with math. Now there's a sign right here that I want to see. Pit Town and Boundary Road. So yellow license plates. Australian bollards. A town called Pit Town. P-I-T-T. -T. Uh... Can we find it? No, we can't. I'm pretty confident we have to be in New South Wales. I don't think any other place in Australia uses yellow license plates. Like, I'm almost positive that they're the only ones. Batemans Bay. I don't think we're near a coast. So it'd feel a little bit more coastal. But we're going to check here first and get it out of the way. Nothing that I could see. North Star, Gravestar, Narabi. Come by chance. Well, guess by come by chance. And ends up being a lot closer to Sydney. Uh, Dues, do, do, wow, Dues does end up being by, uh, well, in New South Wales. We just chose the wrong spot. Uh, so where's Pittstown? Does anyone else see it? I don't see it. I found Box Hill. Pittstown? Nope. You know why? It's a fucking lie. Uh, Calamity walking away victorious. GG Calamity. 22-4. That's actually really good. Take pride in that. Uh, Taurus not too far behind. Only about a thousand points uh, in second place. Looks like Mexico was what gave you trouble there. Scribbles in third at 20,752. Uh, the Brazil guess. Uh, we're coming in fourth. Yeah. We, it happened. Uh, and then Bo in fifth going with Mexico instead of Brazil, not getting a guess off for the U.S. Virgin, and going with New Zealand over Australia. But overall, I think we didn't do that bad. Yes, we could have done better than we did, uh, but we didn't do that bad. So thank you all so much for being here. Uh, we do have another Pro League coming out in about two hours from when this was released. So I look forward to seeing you guys all then. But until then, enjoy the rest of your afternoon or your evening, and bye-bye.